His humility is immeasurable. What led to that strict conclusion? Hmm. You need to see how he appreciated the job I gave to him. Hmm. He even went down on his knees. I, have to, I had to stop him. I mean, come on. He deserved it. Babes. The nature of a poor man is a scam. So forget about it, okay? I understand where you're driving at, but if you were there, you would say the same thing. <laughs> you know what? All I can see now is a strong woman falling in love again. And I'm so happy about it. Love? Mm -hmm. Sweetheart, it is far from it. It is far from it. Listen, I don't know how I'm going to say it to you, but I'm just, it's just me appreciating someone who deserves the work. Hmm. He's a brilliant man. Not just cute, he's brilliant. You know that. Hmm. I do. <laughs> of course I do. Oh, goodness. You know what? Just keep on appreciating. Extra, just calm down. You see this thing called love? That shit is very crazy. This and is, you know that. This is not love. Trust me. All I know is that my girl is in love again. Someone is in love and I'm so happy. <laughs> Can we? Can we what? Can we trust to her? There's no trust to anything. Please. We're not in love. You're in love. <laughs> it's written all over you. You're in love. <laughs> I have good news for you. Tell me now, I'm ready to hear it now. Let's go inside first. Ha, my ears are itchy. Mama, let's go. <laughs> my ears are itchy. Mama, I have good news for you. Come on, 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 I told you the next time you come here, I will arrest you. What are you doing here? There won't be any need for that. Get out! Listen, Esther, I have not come to beg you to accept me back. So why are you here? To clear my conscience. <laughs> Esther, you did a lot for me that you do not deserve what you got from me. My conscience keeps tormenting me and I decided to come and say the truth. I'm listening. At first, I never loved you. I only came for your money. <laughs> ben. So you wanted to defraud me? I think there should be a better word than fraud. I am not a first star. Though I had the intention, but I was facing a challenge. What challenge? Mary. Who is Mary? My fiancé. The love of my life who has been by my side all this while I've been facing financial challenges. Mm. Knowing that it's impossible dating you without her knowledge. So I decided to get her involved. How did you get her involved? I told her about you and maintained the fact that I loved her. And we struck a deal and developed a plan. Ben, you mean you want to dump me for a rich girl? Ben, after all I have done for you, 
After all I have been through in the hands of my parents just to be with you? Ben! Mary, can you just stop? Can you just stop all this drama? What is wrong with you? If I had the intention of dumping you for her, do you think I would tell you about it? So, so, what are you saying in essence? I only called you out here to let you know about the plan. That's all. What's plan? Listen. Mary, I love you and not her. Mm -hmm. I want to get married to you and not her. But this girl in question is a billionaire with multi-million companies and properties, including mansions. Ben, this still doesn't make sense to me. I, I don't understand what you're saying. You are poor. I am poor. Blind doesn't lead blind. So, are you trying to say that I am blind? Poverty is blindness, which I am also suffering from. She has all the money and would likely want my attention. She might want access to my house, which I can't say no. This will make it impossible for me to hide her from you, but I can hide you from her if you work with my master plan. So, what's the master plan? Good. This is how it goes. I will pretend to love her, get some huge amount of money from her, start up a business, then I come back and get married to you. That's all. Very simple. So that has been your game all through? No. What do you mean? It changed at some point and I genuinely fell in love with you. Maybe because of how special you treated me. Ever since then, I tried to maintain a distance from her. That was when I proposed to you. I was ready to take you in as my wife and live with you for the rest of my life. <laughs> Days, you know, you, you should pass as a comedian. Do you know the true meaning of love? L O V E. Of course, you do not. Let me ask what were you doing with her the bike exactly? It's been a while we spoke on the phone or even saw each other. So that day was very unfortunate for me. I ran into her. Ben! Mary? Wait, you mean you have been in town? I traveled. I just came back. So, why did you call me? I'm sorry. I have many things in my mind. Ben, I need to talk to you. Now? Now, please. Okay. Fine. Then let's go to somewhere comfortable so we can sit and talk. Okay, that's fine. But before that, I need to get something from the supermarket. Thank you for telling me. You can go. Please forgive me, I'm sorry. I have nothing against you. I have absolutely nothing against you. Please leave my office. Yes, I love you. Love! He loved me! He said he loves me! Like I said, you do not know the meaning of love. Maybe sometime in future, you will know the meaning of that. Please leave my office. Please. Do not make me. Do not push me. 
Get out. Get out! Haven't you done enough? You want me to die? Please, my mental health is really important to me. Take, take yourself out of this place. Can you leave? Your phone! You stink of poverty. How are you? How are you doing? I've been good. Are you okay? What's wrong? You, you don't look happy. Is everything okay? Mama is dead. She was sick. She had heart disease. Oh. Oh no. But wasn't she taken to the hospital? I did. I took her to the hospital, but there was not enough um, money to continue with her treatment and all that. So we lost her. May her soul rest in peace. Please accept my condolences, okay? I'm so sorry. I didn't know. Emerangini, I'm so sorry for your loss. I blame myself for everything. No, you should not blame yourself. No, I am. I am. You're not to be blamed. I am to be blamed. If I didn't take your money, you would have been able to pay your mother's bills. You would have been able to save her life. You didn't take the money from me. I gave the money to you. And besides, I believe that's the way God wants it. After all, he alone knows our fate and destiny. I promise to make it up to you. I know. I have good news to cheer you up. Really? My ears are itching. I've gotten a job. <clears throat> wow. Yes, I was retained after my youth service. I leave for <sighs> the city tomorrow. So what happens to me? Not to worry, when I get to the city and I'm settled, I'll send for you. I promise. I'm so happy for you. You should be happy for us. Mm. Let's take a walk. Thank you. Come.
Will you get your poverty stinking hands off me? Are you mad? How dare you touch me? Baby! What is it? Don't you ever try to call me baby again! You agent of backwardness! Dream destroyer! That's what you are! You're such a bad luck! All these names for me? Leave my house. What has come over I you? I said use the door! You... You mean I should leave your house? I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. In fact, I'll miss you more. But listen to me. I promise to come back quick and pay your bride price so we can live together forever. I can't wait. Do you trust me? Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> Let's go. I love you. I love you too. <laughs> So congratulations. Thank you very much. Work. Thank you, Ma. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, uh, can I ask for a favor? Yeah, what is it? Okay. Um, can I please uh, close from work early today? Why? Okay, so um, my belongings are still at the hotel where I passed the night last night. Okay. So I'm trying to see if I can get a new apartment for myself. You don't have an apartment? Not yet, Ma. Okay. All right, I stay alone in my family house. Hmm? So I can get you a room at the boys' quarters if you don't mind. Pardon? Yeah, I can get you a room at the boys' quarters till you get yourself a comfortable apartment. That is if you don't mind. Of course I don't mind. That's, that would be lovely, Ma. Thank you so much. It's okay. Ah, thank you very much. Thank you so much, man. I really appreciate it. It's okay. You keep thanking me. Oh. Thank God. It's oh. fine. Yeah, so get to work. I'm grateful. It's okay. Thank you. It's fine. Thank you very much. It's okay. You keep thanking me. That would, that would be lovely. Good ah, it, it will save a lot of stress. It's okay. Thank you very much. I will. Thank you, man. All Thank right. you. God bless okay. you, man. Okay. Thank you. All right. All right. Thank you.
You see, finally, education is like a passport to a lot of opportunities. It's not a scam, after all. Only myopic people believe that cheap lie. Look at me today. I have a job. Permanent job. Mama will be so proud of me. She would. Outside here. Hey, Mama. Hey, Mama, your body is even hot too. Yes. And you are shivering. I have fever, I have cold. Hey. I have headache. Have you I taken drugs? No one to send to go buy for me. Hey, but Mama, you know I'm in this village. You have sent one of the kids to come and call me. There's nobody around. Can you go take over? Let me come back. Just, just take money. Yeah. On top of that table in the palanga and buy me bread. No, 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 no need for that, Mama. Eh? Don't worry. Eh? Keep your money. I'll use my own money and buy you drugs. Just wait for me, Anna. I'm coming now. Don't hold up for me. Oh? Hi. <laughs> on a serious note, girl, when he took his shirt off, ah, that guy is dripping hot. His body is hot. Esther, I'm not joking. <laughs> Period. Oh I'm goodness. not joking. Hmm. What? <laughs> Nothing. Just that. I knew it just would happen the moment you offered him an accommodation. Mm -hmm. What would happen? You will fall in love with him, of course. <laughs> love? Uh -huh. No, love is not in my dictionary, girl. I'm not in love with him. Yeah. Thanks, you. I am not. See, I only said that I was done with men. I never said that I would not appreciate God's creation. There is no better way to say this. You know what? Keep on appreciating God's creation. I'm here now. It will happen very soon. No, God did a fantastic work on that man. I mean, he's such a fine... Ah! Oh, that body. 
Someone is in love. Girl. <laughs> In love, look at your eyes. I'm only appreciating God's work. Keep on appreciating. Have you seen his back? Calm down. Please, please hurry up. I'm in a hurry. Calm down. So, see the way I'm doing it. One, one, one more. One more. It's two years. Yes. Okay, okay, I understand. Just calm. Okay. 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 This one morning, one mm -hmm. evening. So this Don't one. forget one morning, one one evening. morning, one evening, one yellow, one white, two yellow. Yes, morning, afternoon, evening. But how much? Morning and evening. How much? How much? How much? Two thousand. Thousand. Yeah. That's it. Well, there is one I think I should add to make her recover on time. But it's a bit expensive. Hi! Hey. How much? Two thousand. Hi! Hey. Five thousand naira. Just bring it. Bring it. So this one will make time to come back quickly. Okay, that one. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Yes. Okay. Not slide that immediately so that the drugs can go down. Oh, mm -hmm. thank you. Have you eaten? I'm not hungry. Mama, if you don't eat, the drugs will not be able to work. I don't have appetite. Eh? But I have to. Eh? Oh. Is that what you want to eat? Mama, no, no, no. Mama, please don't. I feel like throwing No, don't throw up. If you vomit, you won't feel better. Oh? Huh? Pico, <laughs> let me go and warm the soup. I'll be right back. Thank you. Oh, Mama. God bless you. Well done. Ah, thank you. Mm -hmm. How long have you been watching me? I just came out. Just came out. Oh, great. I can... I can see you like to watch people work out, huh? Funny thing is I used to work out. Oh. Yeah, when I had fewer responsibilities, but I don't do that anymore. Oh, that's great. 
working out is really good for your health. Yes, it is. But these days, I'm really, really lazy. Oh, you should join me. Come. No, not today. Really? No, I'm good. All right. Yeah. See you later, Mom. Okay. Okay. Tired. I'm done. But you're not done yet. I'm done. One more lap. No. Workout is very good for your health. No, I'm done. I'm Do you want me to carry you? I can carry you. If you want me to carry you, I'll carry you. Carry me? Yeah. <laughs> okay, come on. Sir. I don't want to say you're lazy. I'm not lazy. Are you sure? Mm-hmm. Are you ready to go now? Let's go. Feel better? Mm-hmm. All right. Mama, good morning. Good morning, Mama. Mama, good morning. You came to sweep for me. No, Mama, I actually came to check up on you. So mm -hmm. I noticed that the compound was not swept yet and oh. that you were still sleeping. So I decided to do it. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you so much. I don't need to be told that you're strong now. You look very strong, Mama. I am very strong. <laughs> I am very strong. You see why I told you not to vomit that, that, that jokes? Didn't. Yes. Thank you so much. You're welcome. God bless you. <laughs> You're welcome. You see, I can't wait for my son to come back and come to your house and be your bride price. Oh, you will wife material. <laughs> eh? Let me finish the sweeping. So I'll go and make hot water for you. Oh? Thank you. Oh, You're welcome. God bless you. Oh? Hi. What is wrong with me? What is happening? Esther, you need to come back to your right senses. Don't be stupid for Christ's sakes.
Actually, good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. Uh, you should have sent for me. No, 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 it's break time. Oh, yes, uh, but I don't think I'll be going for a lunch break because I have a lot on my table. Not today, I will buy you lunch. Thank you. So tell me, tell me about you. About me? Mm -hmm. Well, there's nothing really special about me. I just know that I am the only surviving child of my mother. Yes. Others died? Yes. Um, I lost my father and my siblings in a car crash. I'm so sorry about it. That's okay. It's in the past now. I am pretty sure your mom will be expecting a lot from you after training you in school. Absolutely. And that's why I'm doing everything I can to ensure that I put a smile on her face. <laughs> God will see you through, okay? Amen. All right, we should get back to work. Goodness, he's so hot. I sure need a man. I have been passing through a lot. I need a man's touch. Come in. Um, you sent for me, Ma. Yes. Um, I'm, I'm actually having backache. So I, I really need a sweet massage. Oh, okay. That's fine. Yeah. Okay, let me get the massage oil. Alright? Yes. Sit down. Sit. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. This is the oil. Oh, oh, okay, it's right. Mm. So you can just climb on me. On top of you? Yeah. Climb on me. Oh, okay, I'll just. Uh... Yeah, I'll start from my leg. Yo, okay, that's fine. Oh. Oh. <laughs> you know what? You know what? Um, I'll just face. Yeah, this will be better. All right. That's okay. okay. Oh. oh, wait, just, just take it, come here. What? Come on. I'm sorry. No, it, it's all my fault. Don't worry. Can I ask a question? Yeah, sure. Go ahead. Can we keep doing this? Sure. Anything to make you happy? Mm -hmm. Can I ask you a question? Mm-hmm. So how... 
How do you describe this relationship? What are we now? What am I to you? I'm laughing, I'm sorry, please. <laughs> but Esther, you know what? The day you told me you accommodated him, I knew this would happen. I didn't know it was going to happen. But babes, here I am. I have fallen in love again. Hmm. I noticed long ago. I guess I am not so strong after all. Huh. You don't have to say that. Baby, you are. You are strong. You know, love is every woman's weakness. Immediately you told him to leave the boys' quarters to the main building. Uh-huh. <laughs> I knew something fishy was gonna happen. No, no, no. <laughs> I never had that in mind. I mean, I felt he was so good to be at the boys' quarters. <laughs> And besides, I stay in this building alone. Babes, you know, say I don't even have a boyfriend. You know that. I don't have a boyfriend. Miss Herper. Happy names. <laughs> that is what love does, if you don't know. Uh -huh. You know what? Do you know you're a witch? My friend is in love. <laughs> She's in love again. I'm so happy that you're still. Hello, mother. What happened to baby? I call you that at home. You can call me here. No, uh, it's an office. Besides, you're my boss. Hmm. Mm -hmm. Then let's see who will answer your questions. It's my turn today. To do what? To take you out for lunch. I'm not interested. Why? So you call me baby. <laughs> Alright then. Alright, baby. <laughs> Alright, fine. Let me just finish your problem with you. Alright, good. Alright. Okay. No, I love you, right? I love you too. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <laughs> So did you enjoy the meal? Yeah, it was good. Mm. So it's your turn. My turn for to tell me about yourself. <laughs> Remember, it was my turn the other day. Yeah. Yeah. It's actually a sad story. Sad story. What do you mean? <sighs> my mother died after my birth. Okay. My father was so devastated. Mm. He couldn't get himself. And then he made a promise to my mother that he would never marry or adopt any child. He gave me everything I needed and taught me all I needed to know about his business. Mm. Such a loving father. He was. He was? So, where's your father? He came back that night with a huge sum of money. <coughs> hey, Dad! Daddy! Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm good. Welcome. I hope you made food for me because I'm so hungry. Daddy, I made your favorite. That's why I love you. <laughs> Keep it in my room. Keep it in my room. It's heavy. What is this like? It's money. Money? Yes. That isn't it? Isn't it risky to bring money home? My dear, it is. But I need this money first thing tomorrow morning for a meeting. Hmm. Go and put it in my wardrobe. But I don't like the idea of you bringing money. I know. I know. I just need it tomorrow morning. Hmm? Okay. I'll serve your food in the dining. Fast. Be okay. fast about it. Hmm? Okay. 
I'll prepare your food, okay? Alright. Hi. You think I took you back? Huh? Where's the money? Wait! For the count of three. Where is the money? Oh, there's no money in this house. Wait! I'll show you where the money is. I'll show you the money. Move it! Move it! Move it! Move it! Shut up! Don't move this thing. I'll blow your head off! So, you have money all this while. And you have hmm? Stand up! So, you have money. Sit! It's a quiet! You know, once you're love, for money will not be your own. You are hiding. Since that day, I never stopped blaming myself. I mean, if I hadn't told those armed robbers that he had money, he would have saved me a life. It's okay. It wasn't your fault. I feel like it was meant to happen. Alright? So just take it easy on yourself. And I'm really sorry for reminding you of your late father. It's okay. We need to get back to work, okay? Sure. Something I really need to tell you. Okay, what is it? I say this. What is it? What happened? You marry me? Why should I marry you? You think I do not know? Know about what? That you're a chameleon. Should I start saying all I know about you? What would you know about me? I, I'm lost. You want me to say it? That I love you and I would love to marry you. And yes. <laughs> <laughs> Can you just put it already? <laughs> that was so smart. Of you. For a second, I thought it's like. No, it's fine. It's okay. Thank you. Mama is mine. Are you serious? <laughs> hey! I know come here, but him knows the call that. Mama, come inside, Joe. <laughs> Let me touch the car. Oh, wow. 
Mama Zadu. Hey! Mama come! Emerim Guinea, I know you have spent a lot on me. And I've decided to give you back the money. So I want you to give me an estimate of everything you spent on me. So I can pay you back. <laughs> Is this some kind of joke or something? No, I, I, hey mama. No, is this a joke? Have you lost your sense of time in a what? What is this? Listen, I don't like people insulting me. You don't like people insulting you? Yes. But you like coming to people's house to insult them. Susan, I can understand that I have feelings for you. Or, um, yes, I love you. But listen to me, I am not stupid. And I will not sit down here and take this insult from you. Now get up and get out of my house. You said what? I said you should get up and get out of my house. I should leave your house. Get out! I should get out get of Get out! House. And don't ever bring, I mean, set your face on this place. Get out! So, Mary Guinea, I should get out. Get out! I should get out. You're asking me to leave your house. And Mary Guinea? You're asking me to leave your house. I said you should get out. All right, that's fine. But don't forget, you asked me to leave. You asked me to leave. All I've done is to love you. 